I'm Ian Perks and I'm a bird ringer and um, we are at the Lock Garden Nature Centre. So this is the kind of basic bird ringing kit. We've got pliers here for fitting the rings. In this bag here we've got colour rings and BTO rings. Colour rings you can see, very visible, easy to see from a distance through a scope or a pair of, even a pair of binoculars. Um, BTO rings, they go on the bird's right leg. That's what we use the pliers for. Justin's going to climb up. As he gets to the nest, he's going to have a good look. The chicks usually will just be lying flat. Yeah. You may be able to hear the female chipping away there, but she is, she's up in the air now, um, alarm calling, so the chicks just play dead. There are two ways of doing it. You can ring them on the nest, or you can lower the chicks down in a bag and ring them on the ground. We ring these chicks on the ground, um, and that's always been the way here at Lock Garden. Once you've got those chicks, you've lowered them down, you fit a metal BTO leg ring to the right and you fit a plastic colour ring to the left leg. Those two, they're very different types of ring. One, you use a pair of pliers to squeeze the red metal ring closed. Yeah. The plastic ring, it opens in a spiral. You spiral it back around the bird's leg, a wee bit of glue and it's clamped on for life. We take some measurements as well when we're ringing. We do wing length, we take a tail length and we weigh the birds. 1.5 right, kilos. Right, back in the bag. We think we've got a male and a female. I think the older chick, the one that hatched first, uh, is, um, is uh, male, one female. Both looking really healthy, lovely looking birds, getting plenty of food. The returns we get in terms of the data is really priceless. These leg rings are so visible, we get many, many, many returns from people photographing the birds, from people seeing them through telescopes and binoculars. Because remember, these birds migrate, and it's really interesting to know where they go to, where they spend their winter, and when they come back. So there is going to be an element of stress. We can't deny that, and we would never seek to deny that. But, but it's short, it's very quick. We're up there, we get the chicks, we ring them, and we put them back all within the space of about 30 minutes. birds here have been ringed since the 1960s. We thought that the risks are very low, very low, extremely low in fact of influenza, either you know transferring one way or the other. So we, we weighed it all up, took a decision and decided that it was safe to do it. This is really important because this nest is kind of the spiritual home of ospreys. This is where Loch Garten is where they first came back after extinction. So it's a really important place. Um, you know, there are plenty of ospreys around Scotland now. There are plenty of ospreys in Stress Bay and around this area. But this nest more than any is most important because it is the spiritual home. You know, it's where they came back. It's where these birds, um, you know, first colonised after their terrible extinction at the hands of human beings. So it's always going to have a special place in, the, in, in, in RSPB's story, but in the fans and the people who love ospreys, this nest is special. 